Hey guys, I'm here in the Austin Eye preoperative area and I wanna to talk to you a little bit about anesthesia for cataract eye surgery. Obviously, anesthesia is a really important part of any surgical procedure. For cataract eye surgery, there are a lot of different options. So at Austin Eye, what we do is we give oral sedation with oral Valium, usually about 10 milligrams of Valium. The patient gets it a little bit before they roll into the operating room and by that point, they feel very comfortable. It kind of takes the edge off. They're nice and awake and alert, which is actually good for cataract eye surgery because sometimes you do need the patient's help. And if they're too sleepy, too groggy, too confused, that can actually be sort of a dangerous situation. So Valium really hits that sweet spot. And for our patients, they do really, really well. An alternative to Valium that's sort of been the hot thing recently is MKO melts. This is midazolam, ketamine, odansetron, and you take this, I think it dissolves underneath your tongue. Apparently works very well for a lot of places. We don't use it uh, at this time, maybe in the future. Uh, my only concerns with the medication like that is that ketamine can be a little dissociative and could lead to some confusion or unexpected responses. But again, people use this all the time and it works really well. Uh, we just don't use it right now at Austin Eye. The next kind of anesthesia is IV sedation. I would say this is the most common way that patients are sedated for cataract eye surgery across the country. Uh, this is what I did before I started working here. And it works very well. You'll need an anesthesiologist or a nurse anesthetist available to administer the medications through the IV to keep the patient calm during the surgery. They're actually using some of the same medications we use orally, but in the IV form. They'll use Versed, They'll also use different kinds of medications like propofol or even in certain cases, ketamine, although that's not as common uh, for IV care for cataract surgery, but there are some anesthesiologists that'll do that. And I find that IV sedation is, is good. Uh, the things I notice the most with IV sedation is that there's a tendency to over medicate a little bit and patients would get a little too sleepy, at least for my taste, and they may fall asleep. And falling asleep can actually be a little risky during cataract surgery because you forget where you are. So when the patient wakes up, they may move. And so it's kind of on the surgeon and the anesthesiologist to really be paying attention to that and making sure the patient stays awake. But like I said before, this is the most common and many would say probably the safest in their book way to do it because it's very controlled, but it's time consuming, it's more invasive and there's more cost and technically more risk associated with it because you are having a deeper level of sedation. The third way that you can provide anesthesia for cataract surgery is general anesthesia. This means putting someone all the way asleep. If you're all the way asleep, you're gonna need help to breathe. So they'll use either what's called an LMA, kind of goes down the throat and sits right on top of the trachea or the epiglottis and provides that air that you need during surgery, or they'll actually do endotracheal intubation where they go all the way into the trachea, kind of what you think of when you think of ER, some TV show where they're intubating a patient and putting them on a ventilator. Same idea. This is pretty rarely used. The most common scenarios where a patient needs general anesthesia are one, if they're a child. Kids just can't stay still and they need to be still for surgery so they get general anesthesia. Two, if someone has intellectual disability and it's very difficult for them to follow commands, that would be another reason. Or three, if someone has such intense anxiety that it's thought that neither oral sedation or IV sedation is sufficient, then you have to do general anesthesia. Now, as I was hinting at before, the deeper the anesthesia, the greater the risk. Now, anesthesia is safe overall, but if we're talking about cataract surgery, which is generally speaking a very safe, not overly time-consuming procedure, this is not your go-to, and most folks would lean more towards oral sedation or IV. Not every place offers general anesthesia either, although most ASCs do. Ultimately, we're very lucky to have all of these different tools to help patients feel more comfortable during cataract eye surgery. My personal preference at this time is an oral sedation for cataract surgery. And if you're wondering, wait, what about the eye? How do you actually numb the eye? Well, we use preparacaine, lidocaine on the surface and inside the eye to help patients be as comfortable as they can be during the procedure. So that makes oral Valium a viable solution uh, and intervention for folks when they're having cataract eye surgery. So I hope this was educational or helpful for you. Uh, definitely always defer to your doctor and their judgment based on their discussion with you and sort of your feelings about anesthesia. But to reassure you, oral Valium is a very effective way and we're happy to have it here at Austin Eye. Hope that helped, take care, bye.